My name is Steve Maruzzi. I'm here to talk about the user interface for the Neotherm Control. Uh, this will be for homeowners, and what I want to talk about is the home screen. On the home screen, you have some valuable information here telling you, for example, the inlet temperature, the outlet temperature, uh, flame signal, things to that nature. Now, your screen may look or appear to be a little different, uh, and the reason is or it may not have these prompts because the contractor may have gone in and changed those around. This is customizable uh, on these five lines on the top. In the middle here, it gives us some other information of what's going on with the boiler. It might be driving to pre-purge. It could be running. It could be an ignition. Uh, and then down on the bottom would have lockouts uh, or alert codes, hold codes, things to that nature. So what I'm going to talk about is the buttons that are available here. We have the up and down arrows, left and right. And that's to navigate through the control. We also have the large OK button. On the right-hand side, we have a back button, the information button, and the home button. Uh, for homeowners that would not get in and start, if you don't understand the control and you're not a contractor, I would not go in and start playing around with the different settings. Uh, you could make things worse and it may not operate properly for you or coldest day of the year, all of a sudden it's shut off. Uh, but what I will show you is how to get in and set your central heat set point. Uh, as well as domestic set point if you're using an indirect tank. So your central heat set point is your target temperature uh, on a cold day of the year of what you're looking to achieve. So for example, if you have baseboard heat and you want to achieve 180 degrees, how do we get in and set that? Well, what we would do is press the information button, and now you could use your up and down arrows to go over and highlight quick start. Once Quick Start is highlighted, you can press the OK button, and it will bring us to the Quick Start menu. Right here, Central Heat is highlighted. Click OK, and now you can get in and adjust your Central Heat set point simply by using your up and down arrows. So presently, I have it set for 180, and for this example, I'm going to say, let's say I only wanted 170 degrees. I'll use my down arrow to highlight 170. Once I've got 170 in the screen, I simply press the OK button. Now my central heat set point is locked in for 170 degrees. If I have an indirect tank and I want to adjust the set point of my indirect, I come down, highlight DHW, press OK, and now I can adjust my, my tank temperature for my indirect uh, simply by using the up or down arrows and press OK. Keep in mind you don't want to run too hot. Uh, for scald reasons, and you should have an any &E scald or a, a mixing valve installed off your indirect feeding your faucets and things to that nature. However, you can simply use the up or down arrows by increasing or decreasing your temperature. Press OK, and now you're back. Your settings are logged in. I'm going to go back to the home screen, and what I want to show you here is lockouts. In case you had a lockout and you didn't know how to reset it. So, for example, I've just locked this boiler out, and it tells me lockout 109 ignition failure. It'll also prompt us to tell us press OK to restart. So if you had a lockout, uh, you couldn't get your boiler running, this is what you want to look at. Simply press the OK button. So now that we've reset it, we can actually see the state, the information. We're going to pre-purge to drive. So what that is is the blower is actually running to clear the chamber of any flue gases. And it will, from there, it'll go into ignition, and then eventually you'll see run.